Hey guys, welcome to Need to Make It. I'm Mike. So Bamboo Lab has released a software update for their X1 series printers, which is supposed to dramatically reduce the amount of motor noise that we'll hear from these as they're running. They also have plans on doing the same for the P1 series. And as you may know, the A1 series of printers already comes with that feature as standard. Now Bamboo Lab has released a video showing a very dramatic drop in sound levels from the before to the after. <laughs> But what I did see in the video is that the print that they're making isn't really representative of a real 3D print. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for us to test it on our own. And while we're at it, we're gonna test against the Creality K1 as well. So stick around. So before we do any testing, we need to reduce the noise in here because it is a little bit noisy from the heat pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Much better. So now we're left with about the sound in this room of leaves rustling or whispering, somewhere in that range there. Unfortunately, I can't reduce the sound level anymore because there's just outside noise, which I didn't even realize was there, coming through like cars and planes and who knows what else. So we're gonna do a few tests. The first test we wanna do is to reproduce what they showed in their video, which is to do a sound test on a closed printer. But I also wanna do a sound test on an open printer as well, just to get the sense of what the difference might be because a lot of people do need to print with the door open or the top open on their printers. For their video, I couldn't tell what they were printing. I think it might have been one of their new filaments. They have this new filament that's out uh, that they call the invisible filament. You can see here, it's, it's actually really expensive. I went on the website to try and find it and um, it's unfortunately invisible on the website as well. You have to order it special. But for this video, I think we're just gonna stay away from using the invisible filament. <laughs> I can't tell whether they have a real print going in that video or not. It's really difficult to see. It might be, it might just be a large square. I have no clue. So for a quick scale, at 20 decibels, we have leaves rustling. At 30 decibels, we have whispering. At 40 decibels, it is a fridge running. At 50, we can expect something like rain. At 60, that's regular conversation. And at 70, that's a gas car running. From the video that they posted, they were at a 67.5 at the maximum. So that's more in the range of a car running. And when they reduced it, it was more at the range of a conversation. So from what I can tell from the video, it is a pretty dramatic difference. And hopefully we can reproduce those results here as well. So I think what's important first is to get a sense of how loud the fans are, because no matter how much we reduce the noise from the motors, if the fans are still the thing that is the loudest, that is what we're gonna hear. So I'm gonna compare each of the fans on both of these printers just to get a sense of how loud each of those fans is, both at 75% and 100% as well. Here is our test rig that I've set up for audio testing. And yes, I am using an iPhone. I do not have a professional mic, unfortunately, but for now, this is what I have. So this is what we're going to use. And what I will do is unclip my mic from me. And I'm gonna put it on the table and you guys can hear what I'm hearing. If you're curious how loud the printers are while they're idling, the Creality printer fan comes in at 35.1 dB. And as soon as the printer is turned on, this is what we're hearing. The Creality fan is located at the bottom of the printer. The bamboo is a little bit different. When the printer's turned on, the printer fan does not come on automatically. It's only when it needs to perform some kind of work that the fan is activated. It is located at the back of the printer and it comes in at 29.5 dB. I've adjusted the volume in this video so that you can hear it as if you were here. Now let's play a quick sample of each sound, one printer at a time. I wasn't really sure if the sound would be affected by the position of the iPhone in relation to the swing of the door, so I ran the same tests again and the results were consistent luckily. 
The auxiliary fan came in the highest, but strangely, the auxiliary fan at 80% and 100% with the door open were nearly identical. The auxiliary fan on the bamboo came in at the highest at 60.4, but down at 80%, it was quite a bit quieter, unlike the Creality. On the other hand, the cabin fan was a lot louder than on the Creality. We can see that the Creality printer on average has louder fans. It also doesn't see as big of an advantage when the door is closed. If we exclude the cabin fan, which is just right at the very back of the printer, we only see a four decibel decrease for that closed printer. And I think the large gap in the door and that open cabin fan at the back are the main reasons for this. There is a model available for filling the void in the door and I'm sure it would help quite a bit. I will link that below if anybody wants to try that out on their own. On the other side, the bamboo printer excluding the cabin fan has an 11 decibel on average drop in sound levels when the door is closed. So it's quite a big difference. I needed a print that had long fast moves and had infill as well. So I designed this heavy duty hook and I've positioned it on the build plate at an angle. Apparently this orientation will cause the most amount of motor noise. So we're gonna start with the Creality K1. So the plan is to get the print started and then halfway through, I'm gonna open the door. I'm going to reset the app and then we'll be able to have the comparison between the before and after on the averages. I'm using PET G because the fan speeds are set very low and the auxiliary fan isn't on at all. The part fan max is 40%, which means that for these tests, we're gonna be measuring all of the other sounds like the motors, the bearings and the bushings and the nozzle rubbing. It's time for the X1C. So we'll do the exact same print on this printer. This is the original firmware. This has not been modified. We will open the door part way through, we'll reset, and that way we'll have two readings per print. I am running the exact same filament as I ran for the other printer, and I have tried to get the overall print speeds the same between the two printers, and try to get the overall print time as close as I could. This one runs a calibration sequence, so it tends to be a little bit longer, and that one does not. The motors on this printer, now that I'm listening to this more closely, do sound a lot different. It's almost like a higher pitched uh, sound coming from this one. So I think we've gathered all the data that we need and now we can go ahead and update the firmware. The update took about 10 minutes and the printer has restarted and now I'm going to go through the full calibration sequence. But if you listen, my daughter is in here with me and I got distracted. So please make sure you remove any parts from the build plate before you do this or you could damage your printer. I was really lucky here. happens when you're trying to do stuff too many things at once you do something stupid
If you guys are enjoying this kind of content, make sure you show the channel some love and hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell as well. Also consider following the channel on Patreon and join us for in-depth 3D printing discussions on our very own Discord server. With both printers as stock and the doors closed, the Creality K1 came in at 53.7 dB on average and the Bamboo X1C came in at 55 dB on average. With the doors open, the Creality came in at 55.1 and the Bamboo came in at 59. The Creality printer has larger motors which drive larger pulleys. They'll be moving slower and that may explain why the motors are making less noise. After updating the firmware and running the motor noise calibration, this time without crashing into anything, with the door closed, we have 54.5 dB on average and with the door open, we have 57.2. If we look at the before and after for the X1C, we can see that for the door closed, there is only a 0.5 decibel drop, and with the door open, it's a 1.8 decibel drop. Comparing my testing with the door closed and the 0.5 decibel drop to Bamboo's video, showing an average of a 5.2 decibel drop, the results aren't even close. So there is a difference, but it's not a big difference. But what I think is happening here is that with fan noise, it's very predictable and consistent. It's pretty easy to ignore. But with motor noise, on the other hand, it's not predictable and it's inconsistent. And if you're like me and certain sounds kind of bug you, like chewing an apple, for example, or a spoon on a bowl, you might not like some of the motor noises that are coming out of these printers. So what became clear to me after doing all of this testing is that recording audio with the device that I usually record video with is really annoying. More importantly, when you're printing inside of an enclosure like the X1C, which is pretty well sealed, you're gonna see a pretty dramatic drop in the sound that you can hear coming from these printers while they're running. That said, with the K1, it looks like it can definitely benefit from sealing it up a little bit more. One other point that's worth mentioning, and you can notice it in some of the videos for the X1C, is that when I have the door open, the fan that cools the hot end is running at 47.3 decibels, as opposed to the Creality, which is only running at 40.2. Now for the X1C, it has a smaller fan. I can only assume it has to run faster, and that may be the source of the difference in sound. Originally, I went into this video wanting to measure the max sound values that we were getting out of these printers as well. But when I started doing the testing, I quickly changed my mind because we were getting a lot of sounds out of these printers that I wasn't expecting. So for the Creality K1, what we were getting is a lot of cracking noises coming from the spools of PETG filament as they're being fed in. And this spool is parallel to the back of the printer. It was pulling the filament on an angle and every so often it would let out a loud crack noise. And you can hear that in some of the video as well. For the X1C, we were getting the purge cycle and then a nozzle wipe, which is extremely loud. So we can't forget about these hooks. These are my experimental infill hooks and they turned out to be extremely strong. The intent for these was to hang something like extension cords or air hose as well. So these were both printed from the X1C and the software update was also supposed to have an improvement on VFAs. And both of these prints do show VFAs. They're very faint, so I wouldn't even really call them a defect, but they are as identical as a 3D print can get. There is no difference between these that I can see. And VFAs for these printers are highly impacted by print speed, so maybe these did not fall into the right category to have a benefit from that. So after all of the testing in this video, what I learned was that yes, the update did make an improvement to the motor noise and you can actually hear the difference. But the bigger difference comes from printing in an enclosure with the door closed, especially on the X1C. 
But I think the K1 actually could benefit quite a bit as well from sealing it up. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video on that subject, let me know in the comment section there as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. This as well to get a good data. Get a good data? Get the, get the data. Get the data. We have 3D printing discussions on our very own Discord insert. Discord? <laughs> on our very own, on our, there's a pretty, amount of sound that you can hear when oh, I need a teleprompter. <laughs>